to my book, you know, my life, you know, and I wanted to get home to my dad, my mother, my brother's mother. After doing 17 years in the pen, DB's freed by the power of God. The true stories my brother's gonna tell you. Different fights he had while in prison, battles, wars. He could've died, but Jesus allowed him to come out. And he's gonna tell you about it. Check it out. Good word, man. What up, T, man? What up, bro? Oh. Big DB. Yo, Cuddy. What's up, mm -hmm. What's up, baby? Yeah, you know. Yo, yes, that's how you doing? Big D. Big DB, superstar, up, boy, DB, man. man. Wow. <laughs> what up? Dow Burton. <laughs> Yo, we got to clean up. Dow Burton Jr. Hey, hey, oh, shoot, right? Don't turn the camera off yet. Yeah. What up, F1? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. DYC, yeah, AFP go, in the building. Let's go. The bricks all day, nigga. Yeah, yeah, big cut. Right. I see you. It is what it's going to be. I see that F.A. I see you there. I see you there. Hey, T, let me see that. All more ready on my edit game. <laughs> yeah, right. Let's edit. Let's edit. Let's put it in the editing room. We got it, man. Big man. Don't rip man. Man, you know, I'm vain in the mouth. I'm Tyrone Burton, the voice you hear behind the camera. While I was playing the role TK on the Warner Brothers Robert Townsend show Parenthood, my brother DB was in the pen. No, Daryl Burton no. Sr., that's Daryl Burton Jr. right there. The legacy continue. Josh Porter, man, right here. Love you too, nigga. Love you, boy. What I do? Just hold no. the circle? Yeah, um, come here. Um, Yo, DB wasn't, Daryl wasn't, um, when we shot Family Time Part, maybe one through seven, Daryl was locked up. Big D Martin sliding through. We used to live over there on Burgess Street. He took the Burton name and y'all's father's name, which was already high, to a level to this point that, God forbid, any of our children ever got incarcerated in Massachusetts, they could fall under that umbrella easily. And there's not a motherfucker out here could tell me any different. And that's what he looked like. <laughs> Big DB. Yo, cuz, so, so, shit, shit, we, 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 we talking about a documentary about Daryl Burton Jr. Yes. And this, this is the birth of it right here. Okay. As you said, he needed documentary. So we come off the, we, 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 we did family time with DP. Yes. Parts one through whatever we went to. We got part seven. Yes. We got part maybe eight, nine. Um, now Daryl Burton Jr. So DP, everybody know is Daryl Burton Sr. Daryl Burton Jr. is coming up. And now uh, yeah. you said, huh? What'd you say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so. Daddy lived his life. Yes, he did. He was established, did his thing, known in the streets, has many names. And respected, yes. And, and so now when we go behind the wall, as you were saying, people already knew Pops as, uh, I mean, you, it, you, you, you tell it best, you was, you was behind. So they knew Pops for when Pops was in there and, and, and respected in there or whatever. Exactly. And now his son comes in, Daryl Burton Jr. comes in. Okay. So if you could share with the people that story you mentioned about, about Jesus Christ, the dude that got knocked out like he was Jesus Christ. We're gonna talk about DB's legacy. And we're not, you know, bragging or... Right, know. right, like, like Daryl said, not to glorify it. Not at all. But, to, but if you're gonna talk about this man's legacy, it, it has to stop with the Jesus Christ event. <laughs> Tell the people, what, 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 so what happened? Y'all both behind the wall at the same time? We both behind the wall. We're at O'Connelly Correctional Center, level five. He just came. I'm in my block. It's open movement on the weekends. I'm in there winning the damn Cappy Cool match. And I got a youngin' that comes in running. I forget his name. And he whispers in my ear while well, I have the rocks on me. Yo. Yo, the young and your cousin DB just knocked Yai Mean out and he's laying out in the yard looking like Jesus Christ. I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? 
I go out there. He by himself as he always is. He's walking. I had another person involved in the in incident run by me that I knew very well. Good friend of mine. Didn't know DB was my people. He was like, yo, I didn't know that was your people man, my bag. And he just runs past me. What the fuck's going on? So now I'm looking for him. And he's walking underneath the guard's gate. What the fuck's he way over there? The person he did it to, who asked for the business, and he got it. I mean, you can lie if you want, my nigga, but, you know, ain't nobody trying to slander your name, but... Ain't even saying no names. No, nah, that's why I ain't really? said a name. His name's John Me. His name's John Me. <laughs> he's, he's staggering like he just had a fifth, and if it was a fifth, we all be drunk. It's something like that. And he with another person that was with him. I finally catch up with him, and I ask him, I just had a talk with you yesterday. What happened? He explains it all. There was a gang of disrespect. There was confusion. He ain't picked the fight. He just finished it. He had to, because if he didn't, then the Burton name would have been ruined, and Burton boys don't let their mother's last name or their father's last name be ruined. It's not going to happen. And then the legend just grew. Like, it had never happened, but if I went to a penitentiary right now, yeah, I'm, yeah. Oh, that's DB's people. Nigga, bring me up seven soups. <laughs> yo, 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 I so, need seven soups, a couple of socks. Yo, you got a couple of pot, pair of socks? Yo, I need some soap. Oh, yeah, I got you. And it's, you know, and, and, and <laughs> ultimately, ultimately, at the end of the day, you know, man, um, I'm, 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 I'm humble. You yeah. know, and, 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 and like Cuz said, this is not to be glorifying anything. No. You know, this this was the beginning of my my story in the penitentiary. You know, um, it, 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 you know, I came from being 18, 19. You know, I first went in when I was 16, mm. but at an age when I when I bumped into Cuz, that's when I first went upstate. That's when things begin to to pick up in my life, man. With with regards to violence, with regards to the violence, and and I responded by the grace of God. So, so, so a quick question, big bro, um, cause if you, when you said he was the duel was laid out, so we jumping ahead into the story. I want to go back to Daryl and ask him about the incident, the fight. Right. You said the conclusion of it, the duel was knocked out, laid out like he was Jesus Christ. So how was he? What, what? From what I was told, and the legend is, and it's true. I know it's not a lie. They square up. I guess I just learned something new today. Dude's punches were short. But when finally But when finally D B hits him, he falls back. Hands spread out. And he got hit so hard. His first leg drop. And he yeah, got Daryl was on. Um, wow, wow, no, man. Right, I'm, right. I'm thankful, man, to I'm out here winning for you see my brother in the flesh, man. This is it's this right here is powerful, man. This is Daryl Burton Jr. carries on the name out of all of the, the boys. Daryl Sr. This is Daryl Jr. Big DB, right here, man. What up, big bro? In the name of God, the compassionate, the most merciful. I'm good, see. What's the word, baby? Yeah, yeah, man. What's one of the mo one one experience you remember? Uh, who's that over there, Josh? Josh on the phone. What's one of the experiences you remember, bro? Um, in that now, now for those that don't know, DB, I mean, D could tell you himself, but DB did like man, probably a total of 17 years, a total of 17 years behind the wall. I gave a stay the car. I gave a car the wall 17 years of my life. Yeah, 17 in and out. Yeah, six, eight, two. Two years was my last two. What studio are you in all night? Uh, you got a new one? No. It's the same one. I did a um, total of 17 years. Hold on, hold on so. What, what, what time is Mummy's on? Um, um, Sunday. Sunday is 8 p.m. to um, 8 p.m. to 12 midnight. 8 p.m. 
That's Big Cousin D Martin right there. Come on out, man. It's the 60th. It's the 60th. Yeah, so when we were shooting Family Time part, uh, maybe one through five, D was locked up. And I'll put the camera on the picture. They didn't see Daryl in the flesh. Now the world is looking at Daryl in the flesh, man. He's here. He's alive. He's well. He made it out, man. I thank God. I thank the Lord Jesus Christ, man. I thank the Father for hearing our prayers, letting D out, freeing him, not letting him do uh, what I heard to be possible 20 to 30 years, but Daryl only did, I think, two. Um, bro, what was, what was one of the most, uh, something that stand out to you the most, one experience in the, in the last two years that you did before you just got out that you went through? My, my, my number one experience, Jay. My, my number one experience when I was locked up on the last two years was, was I realized at that point that they had me. Commonwealth, man, they just knew they had me and they, and, I, and they knew they was getting ready to take my head off. So the experience in that, man, was, was me realizing that none of my boys, none of my friends can help me at this point. You know, I had two witnesses on my case, which was two detectives, you know, and uh, I remember I said to myself, the only one that could get me out of this situation, man, is to God. That's the only one. And with that reality, I begin to activate how or, 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 or I started to do things to get his attention like fast and I begin fast and this was this is all within that experience I the, the experience man was me man allowing all my friends and, 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 and old worries or what you have it man I, I had to put it behind me man and, 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 and then I had to I remember having to submit my own will to do God's will entirely, you know, because I wanted to go home. I wanted to come home. I wanted to go back home. I didn't want that to be my close to my book, you know, my life, you know, and I wanted to get home to my dad, my mother, my brothers, my family, my friends, you know, and, 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 and my daughter, Sata, little Sata Bird. You know, I just wanted to live. I wasn't finished living. But every time was gonna let you stay there all night. Wow. I didn't know they did that. That's cool. Uh, we ain't staying there all night. We're staying there until like one or two. Yeah, that's good. That's good. You know, so the experience was my 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 renewing myself with with the ideas of the God because within of my ideas is where I realized that was what what I what I realized was my only salvation and was gonna be my only out. See, because within those words he made promises. He said if you do this, this, that, and the other, I promise you, I'll fight your battle. I'll wow. destroy your enemies. Word. And I'll deliver you from captivity. So it was that promise I was working on. Wow. Activating in my life. You know, and... And, 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 and that's what he did. You know, with my fasting, with, with my, uh, with my disassociating myself, man, with with the old group, you know, and, and, and got to meet new people, you know, that was under the same teachings or whatever. I still love my old, my, my, my peoples, you know, all my peoples, I love my peoples. My peoples know who they is, I love them to death. But I had to stop learning how to connect myself with other people, men of the same thought, whether they were soft or not. But because the word that I was under was in them, whether they were soft or strong, the word itself made them mighty, you know, mm -hmm. because that's what the God does. He, he'll put whatever kind of spirit he wish on you, a spirit of cowardice, a spirit of strength, might, you know, um, he can make you fight or fight. You know, man, but by the grace of God, he always kept me within the category of a, of a warrior. You understand what I'm saying? Like, despite 
you know, with, not with exception, man, to vice that come in and, and, and that I later conquer. You know, man, I've become a conqueror of, 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 of situations. But the experience you asked me was that, was me having to, like, for the first time, connect myself, plug myself in to the almighty God and his Christ, you see? Because it was in the Christ that I was wow. getting his attention or would get his attention. So mm. I went through my Christ, you know, and I met, man, my God. And then within that experience, within them two years I was waiting trial, he made himself known to me. And that's when I knew I done got his attention. It was then when I knew I got his attention. Um, so once again, that was the experience. The experience for me, man, within the last two years was me connecting myself with the God, realizing that couldn't nobody help me at that time and place, within that time and period, but the God. So a lot of people was looking at me as though I was weird, running around the yard, doing laps, screaming at the top of my lungs at times. God is great. I was saying in Arabic, those men who respected, had love for the God would nod their head like, go ahead, black. You know, and, uh, you know, and, I, and I just went on and I just did what I needed to do. And, he fulfilled on his promises, he promised, because ain't nobody promises is more absolute than the God. You can question people's integrity all day, but you can't question the God's integrity. Not a second. You know, when he says something, it's actual fact. All you got to do is stop to do with the things he said to do and not to do, and you get his attention. And he'll begin to lift you, exalt you, catapult you. And then you eventually triumph. So right now I'm focusing on another one of his promises. I'm home now by the grace of God. You know, um, the promise that I'm um, focusing on right now is success. He said, if you do this, that, this, that, and the other, which is in short, if you go straight, I promise you success. Word, word. Friendships of all walks of life, you know, uh, et cetera, you know, so I'm grateful to a God for the strength today and, 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 and to continue to strengthen me. But that was the example or the experience within the last two years that meant the most to me was me plugging myself in to the God. And only that is why I'm home right now. The only reason for why I'm home right now is because I went that route with things. I ain't get up in there and get with the prison coach and get with my peoples and stop the man, you know, man, doing the regular stuff that we would normally do. I'm just getting off of work right now. You know, man, today I pay taxes. You know, I don't, man, hustle. You know, I don't run around, man, doing the things I used to do when I was young. You know, carrying guns for no reason at all, doing this, doing that, man. I'm a father today, and my daughter names is Sasha Burton, you know, whom I love daily. You know, so you know, that was the experience. That was it right there, too. So my, my, my dad passed on 7-11-2014. My mother's still here with us and, um, you know, carrying on with the six boys. You know, Daryl's out of jail. You know, he's home, he's Great. working, he's doing good. He got his Some queen. Last night, it was beautiful. Yeah, with Ep1 from one of your groups. Yes. Another female production. And, um, you know, God is good to us. DB, man. Don't worry about that. He got a million. Josh on the phone with Cousin Sarge. About a million cousins. Big Cousin D. Martin. And DB, um, D. Martin's coming to it, man. No, no, no. Oh, you yes. 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 LG shit. Hey, yo, yes. Hey, I was just thinking about that. Hey, make sure, that yeah, yeah, yeah. make sure you zoom in on that hat, too. Make sure you zoom in on the single pair of We're going to give it to him. I mean? Uh, 
Cuz go ahead and ask me whatever you want to ask me. Word, you word. Zoom in on single camera. Yeah, hustle. Zoom in on his head, man. If you shake my head again, handsome. Single. Oh, Tasha, that's parent parent hustle. Single, single parent, parent hustle. hustle. Big yeah, Cuz, Big D, Martin, right there. Right there. And he's, and he's like, like, he Yo, tell Cousin Taj we're going to call Taj, it back. Taj, Taj, tell him about that we're filming a documentary. Put the phones on vibrate. Just put them on silent. Ready. Because, yo, we, uh, we, we, we did the family time DP, man. Family time, family time Taj with DP. Movie, we got part one through seven. Are you still doing the thing? You still... You still at the youth center, same, doing his thing at DYC, still helping kids, man, giving them a place to come to, to get out of the streets, you know. So, man, Emmett done, he, he done helped a lot of people, you know, fed a lot of people, man, we hungry. You know, when, when you get young people to voluntarily go to a youth center, to get involved in things that they love, you know, like sports, performing arts, things like that, we're family. Yeah. Right, that's it. Uncle Chops was effective that. in the streets. Damn right. I remember and he my Uncle it. Chops being very, very effective in the streets right. when I was a kid. Right. I remember that. I didn't know what effective was in the streets <laughs> yeah, yeah, when yeah. I was a kid. Yeah. But right. I felt effect right. I felt effectiveness because yeah, right. he would come out with a van, he would man, snatch us up with us in the van, everybody. take us to Celtics games. Yeah, he, would, he would buy pizza, he'd come with a bunch Red of change in his pocket. Yeah. Red yeah. Sox. Nothing. Like the community man it was a lot of bloodshed going on in the 90s but in our bubble in our world under uncle chops porter it was it was harmonious it was peace man Yo, every hood respected it was respect yeah, 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 he yeah, could walk oh that's chops porter that's chops he people from, he, he from bromley that's his nephew oh yeah, hey fall no, no, back no. bromley the home but He's from Bromley. Yeah. All the day. A, respected only, him. Only one go over to the academy. Franklin Hill. Well, yo, respected yo. him. Morton Street. Remember Corbett. The, respected remember him. Remember the Wolverines and them, and them old all school the, games? Everybody. Yo, you, all X-Men. Yeah, hey, yo, y'all remember yeah. this? Wait, hold up. Y'all remember this? Remember the chain bracelet he had? Yeah. From <laughs> With a watch on his back. <laughs> yo, yo, and like, this is how I greeted every woman. Yo. Respectfully all the time. That it was ass. a kiss on a hand. That hey, big cuz. Big cuz. Yo, I did that. I got that from Uncle Chops. On that So Raven show, you notice I grabbed the hand and kissed on the cheek? It never worked yo, for me. From on Uncle Chops. It never yeah, worked yeah. for me. I kissed her on the hand, yo. On, 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 that's on that's TV. That's the chick okay. looked at me that's, like, what are you that's doing? I'm like, first, all right, I'll never do that again. That's when I first saw him. That's when I first caught, you know, that's when I first was introduced to male chivalry. Yes. You know, was through Uncle Chops. Yeah, yeah. You know, man, was he never was, dead with him. That, he it was, was never dead. He was yeah, real charming. Yo, was, real yo, charming. Yo, never, never, yeah, they like, they you know, call man. Casanova, man. man yes. Had it. Man, Casanova. Man, that? Yeah. yeah. Get it twisted, yeah. man. Hey, man, we in the supermarket, man. Me and my baby, man. F1. Of course, it's man. F1 and DB, man, in the building. You know, um, we about to, man, get a few things, man. Big cousin D. Martin. Uh, man, what's going on? Man? Where we headed, man? Where's that drink at you wanted, see? Right there. Oh, I see it right there, bro. That big old super green. Big old... Oh, I can zoom in on that drink, man. <laughs> super full. Yeah, it's the green goodness. Yeah, I need that right there. That's what we need in our life. Let me see. I uh, mean, we need this in our life, man. Right now, man, to replenish. You know, it, uh, <laughs> it is, is a great nutritional value <laughs> Word. attached to it. Know what I mean? <laughs> we want that in us. Word. Attached to us. <laughs> You want one there? Yeah, I need one too. Yeah, yeah. You're not giving me that cold sword this year. Yo. <laughs> say, say, who got it first? Did I give it to you or you gave it to me? That's the same. You gave it to me. It's just you always cold now, man. Just getting off from work, DB, D Martin, 
Yeah. Both of us named after my daddy, his son named after the three of us. Getting ready for that's what we are. Getting ready to have a baby soon, God willing. Have me a third. One, two, See man, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. She said, I'm ready to get out of here. Me too. Oh, uh, let's roll. Let's go. You, yeah. hey, girl. Yeah, Who's that? Rolling, man. We got both four drinks, man. It's cold. I mean, we're going to keep it like that. I mean, we're going to keep it rolling. We're going to keep it going. Take a, take a picture of the spirit. Love that. Oh, no, no, no. I guess. Oh, yeah. Oh, he did that. I did that, man. Way more money. Catch that mightiness, man. Auntie, love you. Tell me. Daddy. Daddy. Hey. Uncle Daddy. D. Chops. Uncle Chops. All generation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're still yeah, standing yeah. here for you, girl. Mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> I was G-Mark II, and y'all like you. D.B. Dow Porter, the junior, the number two, yes. big brother Sean Marshall. What? All praise, man, to the big brother, man, his Hebrew name, Donnie Burton, Anthony Burton, Jamel. <laughs> yes, yeah. Tyrone. Hey, oh. Queen. You know what queen? Not that queen. Your queen that you created. Asata Burr. Asata. As Asata. We're always thinking about you. L little mama. We always are. Daddy love you, baby. We got blueprints for this. We always think about Daddy ain't here no more. Right. It was the Godfather part. One of them part. Not no. three. I think it was two. when it when Michael became Godfather. Exactly. That's and sprinkled. then he, he killed. And even this, that cousin, sprinkling ain't even invited. It's not. But, but, but just to share that for the people, right? He said, I give you $100 if you find anywhere from the book of Acts to Revelation when they baptize saying Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. It's not in there. They baptize in the name of Jesus Christ. So if you read Different Acts chapter angles. 2, verse 38, it says, Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. So when we get baptized, Daryl, you, me, it's supposed to be in Jesus Christ's name. Because yes. when you do that, it's Jesus Christ, if you study from... He's clearing us for our sins. Word, and what it is, is a lot of pastors don't understand when they baptize, they say Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Those are titles. You're a father, you're a son, but your name is Daryl Martin. You personalize it now. When, e, when did you found DYC? You're the founder. Yeah, it was in, in 1981. We got a very small grant to open up a youth center in a real tough part of town. It was so tough here that when we opened it, I could only go up to age 13. So it was like 11 and 13 year olds. We couldn't have had older people. We would have blood on the floor. It was very dangerous. And then each year we grew one year. So the next year we'd take 14, the next year 15. Before you knew it, you know, we were up to like 20 years old. You know, okay. in a few years. 81 you founded it? Yeah. He falls back with his arms out. Okay. First leg drops. The second leg, and this is documented by, well, by niggas, but it doesn't matter. It hit so hard on the ground, it crossed over. And that's the Jesus Christ thing. So he got knocked. He laid out like he was Jesus Man, Christ. Smokey wouldn't even say that. I got, you got knocked the fuck out. Smokey would have been like, oh, shit. So, <laughs> yo, what the fuck? And that's been... That began, it really became his legacy. Like, oh shit. So, 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 bro, so, so, how, so, so you said, so you said too, cuz that he ain't started. So, nope. bro, what did, what happened? Was so, you no, know, I was on the phone, I was relaxing, I was already brought up to speed by my elders, big cousin, my other big cousin. You know, we out here, we here, just cool out. You're young, we've we been here, yeah. we're yeah. relaxed, yeah. money's generating, just cool out, cuz, and that's what I went out there and I intended to do. So when I'm in the yard one day, you know, um, in the visuals, I'm just now getting upstate, you know, I had my Conquer Blues on, yeah. you know, dudes had street clothes on, so dude, this brother, man, he was looking at me like I was a buster, and he had a crew with him, and I was wondering why he was main grilling me. So when he made his round back, came back around, I asked, you know, it was it, it came out, man, that I said, who's this dude? 
and I said, um, he asked me, man, if I had a problem. You know, I said, yeah, I got a problem, black man. Why you keep looking at me like that? I mean, he had a deep voice. I ain't know this brother from a hole in the wall. I knew I wasn't gonna allow this man to keep me mugging me, like just grilling me for no reason. And I'm like, you know, so to me, I was serving justice. I asked the brother, man, what was he looking at? Was I familiar to him? He got tough, he said, you wanna take it over here? I said, yeah, let's take it over there. So we went over there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's, man, where, man, yeah, that's left, where he was left there. at, yeah, man, left over right there. there. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. you know, and I say that humbly, man. The yes, brother cool yes. today. I, I yeah, yeah, yeah. spoke yes. to him a couple times, man. But we just, man, reflecting back, man. You know, man, saying no names. His name's John Man. Yeah. I mean, wow, wow. So that was, yeah, man. yo bro, so how old was you when that, that was when you first, how old was you at that time? 18. I was 18 yeah. at the time, just coming upstate, you know, my first upstate experience, my first upstate fight, you know, um, I thought you had one before that. No, nah, I was upstate, that was my first no, one no, no. upstate. Oh, upstate. Yeah, upstate, okay. yeah. You know, well, so, very, so, very well done. you know. <laughs> but we had to establish a really positive, safe culture. And then people came into our culture, you know, instead of bringing a bunch of guys in there, you know, who were already had a very negative culture. So that's how we did it. Anyway. We did it slowly. 81. Said somebody said that he tried to jump you or something earlier. Yeah, I, think. I was on the phone. I was on. He, the brother was on the phone. I'm asking my so-called peoples that was introduced to me as my peoples. Yanni Yo, who's squares. this dude who keep yeah, looking yeah. at me, yeah. man? Who, Oh, that's whoop, 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 and whoop, whoop. I'm like, yo, why he keep looking at me like, I'm like, yo, don't worry about that. He wind up flaking up. People who introduced to me as my peoples, you know, he wind up flaking up. But um, when they came back around, there was a brother on the phone that heard my conversation with my so-called people. Mm -hmm. And when he came back around, he asked, he said to the, his man, because that was his man, he said, yo, whoop, whoop, yo, you know this dude? Yo, yo, dude, you got something to say to him? I'm on the phone, I hear you asking. I'm like, yeah, I do got something to say, man. Why you keep looking at me like that, man? You know me from somewhere, Black? What? You, you want to take it over here? I said, yeah, let's take it over there. This thing is all stomping. So we went over there, man. Oh, and once man. again, man, you know, man, we, 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 we logged horns, man. And that was that. So that's the that's the way cut as cuz told it he was knocked out legs crossed like as if he Jesus was Christ. Jesus that's Christ on the to, cross he got, got knocked out like that He looked just like this I was like what the hell does that mean I was like you got to be kidding me That's when the lady was born Man and the name stands true to the independent territory of mass right now That's about DB you ain't gonna get nothing but the truth. And what year the world knows new kids on the block? What year did they the new kids come up? I'm terrible for that. Okay. Uh, what would be late eighties? Late eighties, okay. Late eighties, because okay. it's before you. Okay. Me and you went to. We you you brought in Robert Patton Sproul. Yeah. We did Squeeze. He he wrote and directed. You did the stories. You brought me Eddie and Fung, and we starred in Squeeze. Um, that movie led to getting attention in Hollywood, Loretha Jones, Robert Towns, and they contacted you here at DYC and me. Like, hey, we got the rope, TK, we want to know if you're interested in playing the part. Yeah, and they flew us out there. And you and I, you came out there with me for about, was it a month or two weeks to, to make sure I was cool? Because I was 18, young man. It was almost three months. Okay. I was only supposed to be there. I got to get up there. Okay. Yeah. He's still doing the youth, yeah, the youth, it. still working with the youth. Coming up the stairs. About to go up DYC. Yeah. Okay. Positivity. Ain't never ratted, ain't never did no bullshit. And yeah, if it's two, three, four, five, six of you, he gonna fight y'all too. Coming through crazy, cuz. When? I, I mean, but once again, you know, man, I'm, 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 I'm coming off this porch, man, to serve justice, man. That's it, man. I ain't no yeah. tough guy. Nope. I ain't, ain't no we man. Ain't. I ain't no killer. Nothing, ain't nothing no like actors, that, man. We ain't acting you know like what nothing. Saying, man. But we man, did. as Tupac said, man, for that, you know, man, you know, not nah, forget about what anybody said, man. I'm serving justice, man. The minister Farrakhan said, man, justice else, and that's what it's gonna be, man. 
You know, and that's what it was before I was even conscious of what justice was. Ooh. If you wronged me, I'm coming through crazy. Win, win, a draw. That's you disrespect my peoples, you disrespect me, you disrespect my peoples' peoples. Yeah. I'm coming through crazy. Fourth cousin, it, is. it don't matter who it is. Like, I'm yeah. coming through crazy. Last name, last name is cousin, yep. Cousin, da -da. yep. He came through crazy. <laughs> yo, he, he came through crazy. Yo, that's a good title right there. That's yo. Yeah. He came through. He came through crazy. That's dope. You know, so so that's that. You know, um. And we so after so I go so God. what so after that, bro? After you, dude got knocked out. They did they put you in the hole or what happened? Yeah, I went to the hole. They investigated quickly, man. Um, they put me in the hole. I did some time in the hole. I wound up coming out, and um, because I get a letter from him, you know, what you want to do is whatever you want to do, just just, just make your mind up, you know what I mean, what you want to do. I wrote the letter back, I said, cuz, I just want to just chill, man, if they want, they want to further it, man, we can, man, we can further things, but if, man, I come out there, man, and it's, and it's cool, then, man, we can, man, we can cool it, man. You know what I'm saying? I came out the hole. They ain't want no war. They so we was just, man, that was chilling good. out. Yeah. It was, man, everybody, everybody was man, good. was good, man. Everybody was cool in it, you know? At that everybody. time, that was their best decision. We just know. did it like that. That was their best decision. And like he said, homie's cool as shit. He is. You know? Homie's cool as shit. But that shit was crazy, yo. That's why there need to be a documentary about this man. Your brother. And this, and this, and this, Burton boys, and, you too. and this is the birth of it right here, cause right here, when just seen it, this is the beginning. Hopefully, some young people out there would would hear some stories like this, some real stories, and and hopefully they would you know not not feel like. To understand going to jail is not the cool thing, man. Like, you know what I mean? You can loot, like Daryl said, I think you said earlier about, um, you could have got killed in that yard. Like, yes. like you by yourself and there's six no. niggas. Yeah, it's not a game in there. I'm gonna follow you, Ed, on that last thought. Yeah. I wanna ask another question real quick, if you don't of mind. Course. no, no. The question about, um, you was helping out with people. You was, you was, you was doing something with the... Oh, when I was just yeah, yeah, locked yeah, up yeah. on these last two years, um, I was so focused on getting God's attention that, um, cause I realized that was the only way I was going to go home. I sat two years on trial, and I realized at that point there was nobody with me but God. That was a good thing because I got a chance to learn Hollywood very well, to live there and to go to the set every day. So I learned a lot. It was a great experience. Yeah. So we was out there, man, and I, I I'm playing TK. Became famous to the world, man. It all started right here, Boston, Massachusetts. These are the stairs my mom brought Daryl and me up. My dad told my mother to bring us here. So what I did was, um, the spirit came over me one day when I was in Plymouth waiting trial to go around the unit collecting charity on Thursdays, which was canteen day. Cause everybody on canteen day get their canteen. Those who got canteen, they eat and making meals. And there'd be people outside that community that they had nothing to eat on, on this big day for those who have money. So the spirit came over me by the grace of God to take a laundry bag, make rounds around the unit, collecting what I can from each cell. My man, just anything, I don't care what it is. It could be a oatmeal cake, just slide it under the door. That'll add on, man. You know, and at the end of the man, my making rounds, I had a big bag. You know, and the COs began to respect it. They started opening the doors for me, so dudes could give me bigger stuff, four soups, two boxes of man, snack crackers, or what you have it, man, but at the at the end of my rounds, I'll take the big man bag of laundry bag and shake it out on the table and just stop making like little bags. Like, boom, boom, boom. That'll feed one person, that'll feed two persons, that just a feed three persons, started putting meals together all around the table. So the COs, when it was rec time, the COs would open the door before everybody come out for rec and, 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 and everybody begin they 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 gotten familiar with my charity program 
and, 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 and those who ain't have food will be lying to the table. Oh, hey, oh, thanks, man. Thank you, man. I say, man, thank God. You know what I'm saying? Enjoy your man meal, bro. You know, so this way on canteen day, everybody's eating and not just those who have money. This is Emmett Fogart. God says be charitable. Have a charitable spirit. Be selfless. And I will bless you tenfold and some. You know, um, and he did so. You know, um. So that jumps from, so that story you told earlier with Cousin D. Martin, that was when you was 18, when you first went into your yes, first six years. To jump later to when I was um, 38, 39, about to come home from that trial after I got the not guilty for the firearm. So you could have been looking at? 17 minimum to 27 years. So wow, man. God, man, bless Darrell. God is good. God yeah. is good. You know, right now I'm focusing on his next promise, which is success. So I'm home now. So I need to man, do what I did in the joint and stop fasting again and, 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 and getting rigid in my disciplines and my sacrifices to him that he will bless me with his second promise, which is success. Because today I want success. I'm not hustling. I'm not doing nothing. I'm not stealing. I'm not robbing. You know, man, I'm striving to straighten out on this straight way that he may bless me with success. I want his success. I want his will. I don't, I can't, I can try to make a success for myself, but it won't be like his success. And success ain't money. Success is spiritual health, first and foremost. When you wake up, you're feeling good, you're feeling great, man. You got a beautiful wife, a beautiful home, your children happy, your, everybody's happy within your home, your bold, and you got financial, man. Success, man. That's true success when you have friendships of all walks of life. We need more youth centers in the world helping, giving young kids a place to come to, do something fun. All right. I want God's promise, you know, so I'm striving and I'm struggling to straighten out and get back on the straight way, on the straight path that he will bless me with his promise of success. I want to be successful. It's Emmett Fogart, still at DYC. <laughs> so I'm standing here with Auntie and this is her birthday weekend. And I'm glad that we've all had the opportunity to be blessed with her presence. And I hope, I actually pray that God blesses her with many, many, many wonderful and amazing birthdays to come. Amen. 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 Celebrate. You have a thousand more. Yeah. Yeah. This person I've met in my life. Yeah. 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 Hey. That's good. That's Daryl Martin, Daryl Burton, Jr. Yeah, yeah. Generations of these. Back then, at that time, when me and Daryl came up here, Lavelle Brown was working here, Mike Cruzel. There you go Daryl when he was a kid, skating at Shavu. Burton boys in the building all the time. Y'all better be careful. Martin. Ha! <laughs> Family. Me and Eddie and Fung went and met Bill Clinton. We was here in Washington. So you Baker, Morris. <laughs> hey, hey. Stewart's. Porter. Porter. Marshall. Baker. Browns. Donnells. I'm sorry. That's uh, Atlanta. I'm sorry, Porter. Porter. <laughs> I had to say it to Yeah, we all Porter. out here, man. Woo. Respect, shout outs to men, all loved ones, man, all yeah. across the board. And everybody that ever stood up for count, that's right. We thinking about y'all too. So you ever stood up for count, we thinking about you on dogs. Yeah. Here go me and Donnie. I don't know why he listened to me. I don't get it. Like, yo. So what was the other story y'all was sharing? Ah, oh, shit. I am going to say this man's name. I'm going to say this one nah, man's nah. name. Yes, I am. All right, go ahead. He deserved it. I introduced my cousin, 
to a cousin of ours that he never knew because he was older than both of us. His name is I tells him, yo, that's family, whoop de whoop blah, blah, okay, no problem. He never gave D a soup. Let me give you some socks. Never gave me nothing. Did he get a package at all? He just gave me a nah, what up, Kai? What about advice? He ever give you advice? I don't recall no advice. Yeah, he ain't had no Especially advice. after that suckers. Suck a shitty pool. Yeah, especially when he, uh, when he pulled that stuff, the fuck man. In. I ain't want to hear nothing from out his mouth. Anyway, a real G, who we both acknowledge as a real G, sees our cousin, who I told D was our cousin, comes through by accident in this certain penitentiary because you got to earn your way in this certain penitentiary at the time. He comes through and clowns him. Rightfully so. Clowns the dude. The one person of the introduced D as people. Okay, so he get clown. So a real nigga clowns up the person I introduced D as people. Gotcha. Rightfully so. D takes offense because there's a bloodline between the two of them. Now being both of them being alpha males, conversation ensues and an incident happens. Neither one of them is wrong because Cuz should have been clown, but D should have did exactly what he did. And what D do? D, what you do? <laughs> well, in the canteen, when we was in the canteen in Walpole, at the time canteen was served in like this cubicle. So, and the, the doors was locked, solid doors. It was locked and we was getting our canteen. So it was probably 12 of us within this cubicle, you know, and um, and, and there was a window, so we could see people walking by down the hall into the HS, H, H, HSU area. Yep. So it's guys just coming down to go into the HSU area or go straight across to one of the units that was further down the corridor. My man here, it was my man at the time. He's my man today. Yeah, he, he, you know, because he's a G. good dude. Real G. Um, real. He was clowning dudes. Oh, DB, look at this buster right here. I look, ha <laughs> yeah, this dude is a real clown, look at him, ah, and I go back to doing what I'm doing. He uh, uh, yo, look at this butt, yo, look at this clown head, man. I look, ha uh, yeah, 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 <laughs> you know what I mean? Then he said, man, look at this buster. I look, <laughs> everything got silent. I said, yo, who, who, dude right there? He was like, yeah, yeah, this clown ass nigga. I said, that's my people's, man. That's my cousin, cuz. That's my cousin to sit right there. You know what I mean? Expecting for him to just silence, man. Just just, just fall back, man. He ain't fall back. He kept going, man. I said, yeah, I said that was my people's, cuz. You know what I mean? What the fuck, man? You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Oh, nigga, uh, that nigga's a clown. I said, yo, check this out. I said, yo, dog, dog, dude, what the fuck, my nigga? You ain't hear me? I said, that's my cousin, dog, nigga. Yo, matter of fact, yo, when he come down this end with us, Tell the nigga he's a clown to his face. The nigga's such a dog, and he was explosive, his temperament. You know, um, nigga, what? Nigga, I tell that nigga he's a fucking man clown to his face when he get down here, and I tell you, nigga, use a clown to your face, nigga. Nigga, I, I, I said, what? I said, yo, you, this nigga crazy. I took a quick second. Boom, fires on. He fires on me. Boom, 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 we going. Boom, 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 boom. He firing on me. Boom, 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 boom. We locking, boom. locking legs, locking man necks. Know what I mean? So we locks up, we in the hole. Know what I mean? I'm holding this big nigga. This, this nigga was big, man. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? He but he wasn't gonna disrespect my peoples, man. You know, man, that's that's the whole gist of the story, man. You know, man, our cousin introduced me, man, and this man, man, is my, my peoples. Boy. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And behind that man's back, that's my, was introduced to me as my peoples. I was defending his honor, you know, and rightfully so. He is a clown. He is. You know what I'm saying? He ain't no lie. Because when the war pursued, after me and this man get lugged, I comes out the hole to go back down there to go deal with that. Because I'm hearing they waiting for me down there with knives and things. So I'm like, all right, I'll be back down in a sec. Man, as soon as they push me out, I'm, I'm shooting down there. You know what I'm saying? I goes through the unit orientation. They got a section off for section for PCs, those in protective custody, and they got dudes the other half of the unit as intake. So usually, what the dogs would do, the soldiers, the warriors, we're looking every 
sell that more that that PC sells just to see the faces in the yo come from under your blanket cut huh? okay wake the fuck up yo what the fuck you doing in here ah oh, man boom and I go to look and I see my cousin in the fucking man PC so I'm like yo what the fuck you doing cuz lawn chair what you doing in the, on this section of the unit Folded. you're not supposed to be on the intersection Oh man, listen, man. I'm done with this, man. Life, man. I'm God is got so yo. Listen, yeah. God is good because we got things we got to handle, man. Down the land, man. What the fuck you doing in this in this cell in this section, man? Yo, you're bugging, man. Yo, so what you saying? You're not coming out the so he PC. So the point is, I went down there. You know what I'm saying? Wind up, man. Um, getting man. Um, wrapped up. Man, I got jumped. You know what I'm saying? It was a fair one first, man. We banging, boom, boom, boom. Whole unit, man, was man in our business, man. Tension was thick. You could cut it with a knife. Um, uh, I want been the man in the back a little bit, man, with this little bang I had out made out of a knife, out of a, um, out of a glass. He wanted coming back, banging me all upside my head with a stick that I was later running up on them both with. You know, they jumped me, which was nothing, man. A fight's a fight. A jump's a jump. The point is, man, you're not going to, man, uh, disrespect my peoples. You know what I'm saying? He's now sitting, man, in DD, um, in, in, in PC, but it's no longer about him. It's about my cousin D. Martin now. You see what I'm saying? So, man, I'll be down there, man, and man. <laughs> like, all my handsomeness wasn't there. <laughs> all right, okay, I'm serious. All right, for the most part, Concluding on what we were saying was because Big Cousin introduced me to this man as my cousin, that's all I needed to know. I was ready to die on that, man. For this man, it's life alone. You know, and um, because he introduced me to it was life alone for yep. it turned out to be a fat clown. Yeah. Truly a faggot. Truly. But it wasn't even no longer about it was about big cuts so on that i was ready to lay my life down which the man did you know um, and i apologize to you for that it's all right i know i know no, but i just cool. I, I had to you know that's why the first we so didn't know he was a clown until after shit hit the fan yes. so if it so hit the did, fan, he'd be still running around here today man acting and moving his dog man he's a soldier so yeah. bro if you could bring it back that story we got outside. Now we in new. We in here with the new light. Just to, from the from that story, roughly. In a nutshell, you said cuz introduced you. Yo, this is family. You know, and because of that, you know, man, um, I, I went hard for that as I do. So you said er, you said the dude family because cuz told you about him. This is family. The dude was calling him out of yeah. his name, and you said, yo, you gotta call it. Call him out his name. To his face. Right. He got yeah. loud. He said what? I call him out his name. I call him a clown to his face when he get down here and I call you a clown to your face. I said, I said, oh yeah. Boom, boom. I start firing on him. He stopped firing on me. So we firing on each other. Boom, boom. Big dude. Real okay. well respected dude. Two ultimate you know what I'm saying? Warriors. We locked up. COs came, took us to the hall, you know, for the sake of big cuts. You know, um That's why it's you not know, sure. this That's man. It's it. not your fault, cuz we would have never known this dude was a faggot unless man two after man things didn't hit the fan. So, you know, sometimes we need pressure in areas of our lives. Oh, with regards to friends, family, so we can know who's who. Period. Well, he went into the earlier in the story. You were saying he went into ICU or something? Or no, nah, he was in PC. Yeah, he take the custody. All all the way custody, uh, custody. I came out the hole. After you beat for him. Yeah, after I won all. He wound up going down there, dudes ran up on him with some knives. You know, he flaked up, ran his canteen and stuff, sneakers, and wound up going, checking 
checking himself in. He launch it. He folded off rip. You know, so. after this man put his life in jeopardy, and I'm like, I, if if I never told D, yo, that's family, he wouldn't even have thought about it. It'd been right. nothing. Right. He launch it, and you know you did. So you know, this is what it's gonna be. So we going back into time. This was uh. You know, if 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 he, this is just me now. This is this is outside of how my brother and my cousin feel. If he's watching with his family right now, I send you love. We send you love, man. This is just we recapping a real moment in time what happened back then. You telling the truth. Don't want no quarrels in the family. It's all love. But they expressing what happened back then. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. No disrespect to you, man. You know, um, I still got love for you. We still got love for you, but it's good to know who's who. Everybody ain't frontline soldiers. Some people speak the frontline soldier, the warriors language, man. But then when things hit the fan, they fold in some kind of way. So, you know, and that, man, everybody, man, that all warriors, man, is from that class need to know. You know, man, and um, and when you when you fold, man, to that extent, you know, there's there's, there's really no um, you know, there's there's some redemption, I guess, but. Cause you didn't rap, you know what I'm saying? But again, you know, I'm disappointed in that you left me hanging. But it was no longer about you, it was about Big Cuz. You hey, know, so. Can hey, I say something? You, mm, sorry about that. I do love you. But you still need to chop your finger off. Just a Never. finger. Just one finger. Your man. pinky. <laughs> to show. Just okay, I disappointed. I was just you left the man by himself. The tip of the finger, or maybe no, 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 no. The whole thing. Yeah, that's how they do. They chop them. Because the whole What's thing from, from, from the Godfather. What's that? <laughs> no, that's that Kuzo shit. We can yeah, put some ice on it. Know what I mean? Yeah, wrap it up. Chop it. You dead wrong. To the knuckle. I thought maybe man the tip, but. Cause said the whole finger, the whole pinky. Nah, cause it was a yo, no. Yo. Remove your finger. Yo. The man didn't have to defend you. You didn't even know the man was fighting for you. And then when he get out, now, now Jesus, bounce. now Jesus Christ bring mercy. So hopefully he ain't got, he ain't got to lose a finger or something. But hopefully he could be nah, forgiven. Nah, <laughs> because D already took care of that. So what what this y'all this was uh what year was what year was this? What penitentiary you guys was in? This is Walpole at the time. Um oh man, this could have been Now you asked about the Jesus Christ, that was all common. Oh no, that was asked about this situation. Yeah, this oh, okay, but that's yeah, a, that's yeah, I'm yeah, glad yeah, you okay, mentioned I'm that cause. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This okay. situation was in Walpole, it could have been 97? 97. 97. 90, 97. 97. Because me and you got separated in 97. Yeah. Wow. 97. 97 was a year I left from Boston to go do the Parenthood show. So while I'm doing the Parenthood, one of the Burtons, my dad, Dow Burton Sr., have, and my mother, Paulette Burton, have six kids. So while I'm out there wow. doing That's good. doing my thing, yeah. one, of the, one of the six of us out there in Hollywood, DB, the other story of our family story, Dow Burton Jr., locked up in the pen with cousin D. Martin. Yes, indeed. So you got. Three of the family members, one in Hollywood, two in the pen, two different stories going on. And yo, bro, I remember, is that, so that situation is when they jumped you, it broke the, some, yeah. Yes, yeah, yes. that's when I yep. got the split over my head. Paulette to the money machine. Yo, Paulette to the money machine. Y'all two was in the pen in 97. That was 97, that story, or what? Yeah, that story was 97. Dif okay, different penitentiaries, though. Walpole. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, that was in Walpole, 97? I, I, never, I never graduated. Walpole. Yo, bro, because... I was at on a parenthood set when I got a letter or whatever from I had told Robert Towns I was like yo I was kind of tearing up because I heard my brother something had happened no, I think it was a different occasion when I think the six officers dragged you out in the field or something and was, was beating you or something yeah that was probably my like, um the CEO or something I was supposed to see oh, yeah. Yeah. For, for, for him disrespecting me with his, with his mouth mm -hmm. Yeah. So that yeah, oh, I remember oh, I was, that was probably D D U when I headbutted the CEO and D D U 
and they wound up, man, I wound up getting a couple stitches over my eyebrow. They dragged me up out of there to move team real aggressively. So it could have been that. That's what comes to me when I'm thinking CO's dragging me out from some place. Because that, cause they didn't put their hands on me when I saw the CO. Nah, okay, because I was on the parenthood. We was in the middle of shooting an episode and Townsend took me to the side because he knew I was, I was like, you know what I mean, going, he like, what's going on with your brother? He walked me out. I told him my brother up in Walpole, whatever, such a hap, such and such happened. He stopped every, you know, Townsend took that moment, come to the side, and, mm -hmm. and we continue with the show, yeah, whatever, boy. Black man, that's good. Yeah, yeah Townsend's the man. Thank you. For sure. Um, so you, um, so that was that year. Were you... Generations of diaries. We gonna keep it on. Trust We're us. gonna keep it going. So what you saying, bro? You said his mother, which is Auntie Cindy, Auntie Cindy, Auntie Cindy. named you after Papa Bear, our dad. After y'all's father, yes. She put wow. the Y in the name on the birth certificate. Yeah, you messed it up. And she, 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 she <laughs> said, "Oh, it was it's an I L." She said, "I put it Y." And my put, father was like, "It's alright, sis. It's nothing, man." I he mean, was there every you know day mean? in so the hospital. That's the only thing. The difference, the name is the D A R. I L the D A R Y L and little doubt the D A R Y L, which is the same. Same thing. Because yes. we're named after the same man. So and my son loves him. Uh, it was a typo. It was a typo. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, so Dal Burton Senior. Yeah, it was they, a typo. Hey, Dal Burton Senior, Uncle Chops, two brothers. Yes. Uh, Uncle he Stanley. named he named he named uh, Cindy and Uncle Chops named you after Dal Burton. No, my mother. Your mother named, okay, it's cause, named cause you after Daryl Burton. And, and daddy. They were like, okay, they okay. were the yeah. best of friends yeah, with him. And then I, and I get, my mother and my dad give me Dorzell name. I carry his name in my middle name, yeah, Tyrone yeah, Dorzell okay, Burton. Exactly. Uh, so so now, shops, and yes. you two, so two Daryls is locked up together. Yeah, we today. were, yeah, we were. So Never again, though.